for a bit, been busy, but uh, we're back now and we're ready, we're super excited for E3. Dude, it's, it's close, it's really close. It's, it's really close. What we decided to do is we're going to do a couple videos detailing each of the main companies that we're excited about and little things that we know and, and hope that will happen there. We're starting with Nintendo, my big favorite. So let's start with what we know Nintendo's going to do. Okay, what we know we, Nintendo's going to do. We know that they're uh, doing a digital presentation again this year, but this time they're calling it the uh, Nintendo Digital Events, where there's pretty much that press conference is going to be a pre-recorded thing with all the stuff. And then they're also going to do, throughout all of E3, they're going to live stream live from E3 at their booth, showing off all the different stuff they have there. And then finally, at the stage where they usually do presentations, they, they still have it booked, and they're instead going to do a Smash Brothers Invitational Tournament, which will also be live streamed on Twitch. Uh, now that is awesome. <laughs> this is sort of a, a prong attack because not only is Nintendo doing something a little more hands-on than normal E3 pe press conferences, their presence is actually going to be in Best Buys across. Yes, outside of E3, they are also going to be having Smash Brothers playable at uh, Best Buy. They did this last year, but again, this is a really good example of Nintendo branching out and you know allowing their presentation to be hands-on. Super excited. And outside of that, they have confirmed that they will be talking about Legend of Zelda and the new NFC stuff, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Okay. So what I want to do now is I want to go, you know, just back and forth. I'm going to we're gonna go through the what we consider to be the big Nintendo staples and say what we really want them to do with with them in, just in general or at E3 and what we predict they will actually do at with that specific franchise this year. All right, so let's start at the very tippity top with Mario. Personally, what I want them to do is I want them to, I don't care if they just give us a name and like, uh, like a picture, but I want them to announce the new Mario 64 successor game. We want the adventure Mario type. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, a lot of people saying Galaxy 3, but no, I, don't, I, want, I don't want past Galaxy, you know, because Galaxy in itself is a successor to Mario Sunshine, and I want the continuation of that. 3D Land wasn't that, that's its own thing. And I, I liked it a lot. We loved it. Uh, but I want new Mario successor. And I really want it to be like open world, like Mario 64 was, but like just way bigger, take More advantage expensive. of the hardware. Now, I did say I don't want Galaxy 3. What I really want them to do though, is to hand that franchise over to Rosalina. Okay. No, Rosal that's, I, right, we, I think yeah. we discussed this. This is a good theory. This Ro is a good theory. Rosalina is rapidly rising through the ranks of a fan favorite character. She was playable, spoiler alert, she was playable in 3D land, 3D World. Uh, she's she's my favorite pick in Mario Kart. Uh, she a lot of people like her because they kind of fleshed out her interesting story and galaxy and she's kind of Enigma and all that stuff. That's so like I Smash Brothers. Yeah yeah she's gonna be in Smash Brothers too. So I think what a really smart move would be to make Rosalina Galaxy. I think that'll be fun, and I mean, and that's kind of going into, you know, a little bit of what I would like. Once upon a time, long time ago, in Nintendo Power fan art, someone sent in a, a piece, Mario, Link, mm. Donkey Kong, they, they were captured by Bowser, and uh, like, like hugging the wall, you see Samus leading a team of Zelda, Princess Peach, and, and you know, the like. I would, I would truly, truly, truly love if Nintendo introduced, you know, Super Mario Sisters? One last thing, I would love if, I mean, I know we just just came out, and I I don't want them to just saturate the market with Mario, but I would love if they did a sequel to 3D World and added like 10 more characters. Okay. okay. I, I would love that. So now, what do we think, realistically, Nintendo will do with Mario this year? I think they will probably announce some kind of more, some kind of extended DLC for Mario Kart. Okay. Uh, and we might get a teaser of the next main Mario entry, but outside of that, and some maybe some NFC stuff, I don't think they're going to do much. Because again, we just had a lot of Mario stuff. We just had a lot of Mario stuff. Um, I know there was already talk about the next major Mario title in development. Did you see that Mercedes commercial? Yeah. <laughs> Legend of Zelda. So we know they're going to talk about Legend of Zelda in some capacity. Most likely the new one. Uh, so where I would like one a new trailer for Hyrule Warriors because 
the new info they released recently got, kind of got me hyped for that game a little bit. Okay. The fact that Imp is playable and there's going to be like a bunch more playable characters. <laughs> like, okay, yeah, that sounds interesting. Uh, I would love it if they talked like in depth about the new Legend of Zelda, the Wii U, Legend, the real Le Wii U Legend of Zelda. I always thought it'd be interesting for them to use the gamepad and like uh, either like the gamepad itself is like an old school Zelda over the top look, and on the TV would be the 3Ds and mm. stuff, but it'd be the same level. Mm. Or to use the gamepad to somehow look into like the Dark World or alternate timeline, or maybe play between two different links or something. And a little oddball uh, choice, I would love it if uh, Namco made a Soul Calibur style fighting game in the Zelda universe. Just specifically? Just Zelda, like, just you can Zelda. play as, you know, uh, Skyward Sword Link, Wind Waker Link, Zelda, Tetra, Sheik, Impa, Skull Kid, just put them all in one fighting game. So what we predict they'll do is with Legend of Zelda at E3, I think they will show a trailer for Audible Warriors, and I think they will talk about the new HD Zelda. To what capacity, I don't know, somewhere between showing the poster and giving the name to actually giving a trailer. But I really don't think we'll get the game uh, in 2015 at all. I think maybe it's going to be a 2016 game. Oh, it's going to be a ways off. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, that, that would be yeah. that would be a huge surprise. But they'll they'll show us something from it. Though. You think we'll get a we'll get a look? Yeah, but I think that's about it. Uh, Hyper Warriors and the next main title, Metroid. Metroid. Okay, so here's what I want them to do with Metroid. I want them to do a huge open world side scroll, classic side scroll in Metroid, game. and where like. You, you have like the main planet you're on, but then you can also go to all the moons and like you can go all around and in the planet. So you just basically want an expansion of corruption. Yeah, or, or uh, kind of like how in Fusion where you had like the hub world and you had these different areas, except the hub world is itself a huge open world. Right. Yeah, kind of okay. something like that. Okay. Uh, also kind of like that new Strider game they came out with, okay. where it's just huge world that you go around it, but right. it's all side scroll. Right. Yeah, I want, some, I want to do something like that with uh, Metroid. Personally, I want to see a marriage between uh, the two styles. You know, the, the definitive, amazing job that Retro did in terms of, you know, first person behind the visor. I think, you know, that needs to return, but I, I also think it's, it's, it is so time for another amazing, sick looking 2D style Metroid. I, I, I just think it's time for, you know, a little bit more expansion into the mythos. And with that, maybe, you know, introduce another character or you know we, we we see now how important zero suit is within the, the, yeah. the mythos and whatnot so I think there's opportunity to expand you know the universe and with that expansion include some type of dual play style mm. with behind the visor and 2d platforming you know with the gamepad and whatnot I, I think that that could be awesome I think it'd be cool if you actually start as Zero Suit Sun. Like, cause you know, it's always her suit breaks apart and you get the pieces. What if you break so much that you, you're stuck in the Zero Suit and you're stuck in certain locations because there's no oxygen outside. Right. And you gotta get pieces of your suit back and that's how you build up your power. I think that'd be an interesting take on it. Now, what do you think they will actually do with Metroid? I think at most we'll get confirmation that they are working on it. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. Yeah, no, at, at the very least, it'll, it'll probably just be like, oh, guess what? Retro yeah. is and then we're on confirming it. Metro, or Retro is working on the next Metroid. It's going to be like Metroid Dread working title. <laughs> 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 and like maybe they'll have an image of Zero Suit Summer next to go, oh, what does that mean? That's about it. <laughs> That's the most I think we can hope for. Star Fox. So, I'm going to be a little controversial here. Uh, what I want them to do with Star Fox is not make a game, but team up with some animation studio and make an awesome Star Fox cartoon show. Something along the lines of Clone Wars, you know, make the Star Fox seem like the new Ninja Turtles, make them like really unique and awesome, and go through the storylines of the games, but like make it better, <laughs> fix up some of the problems with some of the later games, and then, if that gets really popular, Build off that momentum to make an awesome new Star Fox game. Because as it is, no one cares about flight simulators. <laughs> um, for, in a sad case, Nintendo tried taking the third person shooters, people didn't like it. They wanted it, it just they didn't like it. So I say make the characters really awesome and then go from there. I I totally respect your opinion as a gamer, and I think it's a good idea. I, I personally think it's a good idea. However, the the, the selfish part of me once again, I need a Star Fox. I, I just think the, the 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 unique 
infrastructure, what the Wii U is, can accommodate the Star Fox title so well. It, 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 they need to happen. They, they, they need to do it. it. It's past due. What do we predict they will do with them at this E3? Not a thing. Not, not a single <laughs> thing. <laughs> He does, not me. I still have hope. I still have that's hope. That's what I predict. That's 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 the prediction. We're we're still we're in the past. Yeah, yeah. We don't know. We come E three. Maybe that's they're like we're pushing the Star Fox. You know, you Star were... Fox TV show. Star Fox game on Wii U and 3 ds that will connect together. Yes. So, what do we want them to do with Pokemon? Uh, we know that they're remaking Ruby and Sapphire, and it actually looks pretty cool. That's a big deal. Uh, but what I really want. And this may actually happen. I want them to fully unveil Pokémon Fighters. This is a rumor game. It's being made rumored, even but a Nintendo has trademarked the name Pokémon and Pokémon Fighters and Pokémon Fighters and all that stuff. But uh, basically, according to rumors, it's being made by the Tekken team. It's a fighting game like Tekken where you only play as Pokémon. That sounds so awesome. And they even like just some leaked screenshots or whatever of like Lucario facing off against a Blazer kind of thing. And it's just like, yeah. <laughs> that would be so cool. Like they could put in crazy hidden characters. Like Jinjo would be playable. Like that'd be crazy. No, it would be it would be crazy. But I mean and I mean it, it is a cool concept. I, I, I think I would even uh, you know be into it because I'm not I'm not the biggest Pokemon fan, but I, I would definitely have to check that out. So we know the town's gonna talk about NFC, which they're they're calling it the NFP, which is the Nintendo Figurine Program, or Peripheral, something like that. But NFC stands for Near Contact Functionality or something like that. Basically, it's the Skylanders and Disney Infinity type thing where you get a little fit, you get a little platform, you put the toy on it, and then it unlocks content in the game. Every Wii U gamepad has that built in. It's the little square thing on the bottom corner that, uh, that can scan cars or figurines or whatever. And Nintendo, so far they've only used it for a Pokemon game, but it was, they only released five figurines. You can play this every Pokemon ever, but there was only five figurines and they were all unlockable in the game. It was just a little test. But they said that this E3 they are going to show what they're going to do. And not too long ago they had a presentation where they showed a picture of like a, a, a possible Mario figurine saying that it would connect to like, it could connect to three different games. Like you can. It can unlock a Mario themed level in this game. It can store save data from this game. It can unlock Mario as a playable character in this game. Yeah. So it's not going to be one Disney Infinity type game which is full of Nintendo characters. It's going to be, from now on, Nintendo games might feature something to do with this figurine. What I want them to do with this, I would love a Disney Infinity type game where he plays Nintendo characters, but I feel like that would take from Smash. Other than that, someone at Edgy and Poco said, see, I thought it was really cool, is if when you buy a figurine, it also includes uh, data to unlock a game from the eShop featuring that character. Like, if you buy the Mario figurine, you get the original Mario Brothers off the eShop. Yeah, no, that would be amazing. Yeah. That so would like, be amazing. So that, no, I'm not, I'm not just buying a toy or a DLC, I'm buying the original Mario. Right. And, 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 <clears> and <throat> I'm getting all this DLC and, and stuff that will come with this toy. And if, and if anybody's primed to do a, a, a endeavor like that, like a, a a unique system like that, it's Nintendo. I would love a Mario figurine, a Samus figurine. I'm gonna buy all of them. But what I also really want them to do is to get my Boto to make an original game that you, a Skylanders type game, maybe plays differently, but the same basic idea where it has a bunch of characters, all designed by different Nintendo people, and it's pushed by my Miyamoto. And just give me that. <laughs> So you do one, you do I more or less, do. you want the I Infinity sort of... But more than that, I, I want original characters, too, you know? And I would, I would, if I had to buy a toy of that original character, fine. <laughs> you know, you can get the different artists from, who worked on the different Nintendo games to create new characters just for this game. And then this game could be used to fuel rosters for future Smash Brothers. <laughs> and also, uh, president of Nintendo of France let slip that uh, Smash Brothers is going to use this. Right. Right, we do so, know that Smash Brothers somehow is going to implement this. That's cool. I, I technology. Mean, if they have a separate line of just Smash Brothers trophies, like here's Nintendo figurines, like here's like Mario and like just a basic brown platform, and it looks like Mario and all that. If they also had Smash Brothers Mario on the trophy case, if you look with the, with the Smash Brothers design detail and all that, I'm going to buy both of them. <laughs> I'm going to buy all the Smash stuff, and then I'm also going to buy the, the regular stuff. Now, the other thing Nintendo's been talking about a lot lately is their new Life Enrichment Program. 
they want to create a new platform for basically the Wii Fit Brain Age type games they've been doing. And that it's going to be a non wearable peripheral and how it's going to be its own separate thing from, I think, Wii U and 3DS. Hopefully some, some information will be ready at E3. Yeah, I, I think they might say something about it at E3. But at the same time, though, I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm curious. I'm not, I'm not getting too close. I'm not, I'm not going to make any predictions in terms of, you know, any, any solid variables or any, yeah. any tangible I can't, ideas. I can't predict what this is. Yeah, because <laughs> this is, Nintendo is, they're, they're good at doing stuff like this, so, you know. You know, they, you, you'll you'll predict all you want, and you'll think that you'll know, and then they'll come out completely out of left yeah. field. So I'm just eager to see what this initiative is going to be. And I do think they will show it at E3. Uh, I don't know what it is, but I think they are gonna, they're going to at least talk about it. Finally, uh, third party stuff. I want them to announce that they are making Nintendo, and maybe even Sakurai at the lead is making the new Mega Man. Like. Because I mean, Sonic has some exclusives on the on the console. Why why not Mega Man? You know, I think Nintendo will be a good home for Mega Man. <laughs> I, I unfortunately, I mean, I, I agree. I, I just think those days are over. I would love if Platinum were making the new a new Takamaro game. Uh, they've expressed interest in it. They made One for One One, which is a Nintendo game that they made. Uh, and the rest, like, if you could work with any like uh, established Nintendo franchise. What would it be? And they said uh, either Star Fox or a new Takamaro game. And I've already said I don't think they're gonna do Star Fox at all. So Platinum Games is Star Fox. That'd be insane. Yeah, it was. But I think I would. I don't think they're gonna do that either. But I would love if they did the, the Takamaro game. One last thing uh, I feel like I should mention: they are doing the digital event uh, presentation, digital event presentation thing. But uh, they also announced two 90-minute separate presentations. One that's all, they're also Q&A's, like 90 minute presentation Q&A's. First one is going to be all about Smash Brothers, and sure. Sakurai's going to lead it. The second one is going to be about a 3DS game that they have not announced yet. And we don't know who's going to lead it or anything. But it's going to be a Q&A, it's going to be 90 minutes long. What could that be? <laughs> I have no idea. 90 minutes for a game they haven't even talked about yet? Obviously it's going to, I mean, if, it, if it's going to clock 90 minutes, then it's going to be something that we're interested in, no doubt about it. Yeah. No doubt about it. So that's that's fun to, yeah. to sort of think about what it potentially could be. Yeah, overall, I'm very excited for Nintendo. Uh, they don't have to do much to get me excited for it. For you, what is the one thing they got to they have to do to rope you in? I mean, you already have their console. You already Oh no, them. yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in. I'm in. I mean, you know, what's the one thing that we could go? What well, the one thing Nintendo has to do to make you think they'll win E3? If make, you can if, win E3. If you can win E3, oh man, uh, if. If they if they show a Mario title, if there if there's a Mario title, and I, I go back to Mario just simply because he, he's so iconic. But if there's a Mario title and we see some sort of rendered castle that can rival something like How to Train Your Dragon or something like that, it, it looks like that, and there's this like cool imagery of, of, of Bowser blowing fire somewhere like that. I mean that that's it. <laughs> Uh, for me, I'm just going to already say that I'm probably going to say Nintendo wins. <laughs> I don't know what they're going to do, but whatever they do, I bet I'm going to love it more than whatever everyone else says. Open mind, sir. I'll keep. I'll try my best to keep an open mind. All right. All right, so that concludes our Nintendo coverage. Uh, tune in soon. We'll probably get the Sony one up next. So.